In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the program Microsoft Paint 2010 to create a pizza. First, you open the program. If you'd like to drag the bottom corner over to make it full screen, you may do that. Then what you do is you start out by choosing the circular shape and you draw a big circle. That's going to be the pizza's crust. Now we're going to make the sauce. Click on the paintbrush. I'm just going to choose the first one. Choose the color that you'd like your sauce to be. I'm going to choose red. If you'd like to, you can choose a wide paintbrush. And then you just kind of paint around the edge with the paintbrush and make sure you connect the lines where you want your sauce to be. Now choose Fill the paint bucket and fill the paint in. Now we have our sauce. Let's bake the pizza and give it a little brown crust. So pick like a brownish color and dump that in to make the crust. Now you're ready to put some toppings on your pizza. You could choose one of the paintbrush tips and just draw some toppings on. Like say for example if I want green peppers. And you can also choose a size for your paintbrush right here. And you could just draw them on. Another thing that you could do um, to make toppings on your pizza. Let's say, for example, maybe I want some ham. I'm going to pick the rectangle shape and pink. And I'm just going to draw it over here at the edge. I'm going to fill some paint in to make the whole thing pink. And then what you can do is... You can select this and you want to choose transparent selection to make sure that when you drag it on, see how there's a white box around it? We don't want that white box there. So if you choose the select button with the arrow here and pick transparent selection, then when you drag it onto your pizza, that white box won't be there. With it selected, if you choose copy and paste, it'll give you another piece of ham to drag on. So now if I keep clicking paste, I can keep dragging on the ham. So you can just draw items on your pizza. So let's say for example, if I wanted to, maybe I would draw some pepperonis on my pizza. You can use the fill the paint bucket to fill them in. Or, remember you could draw a topping over to the side and then copy it and paste it. Like say for example, if I was going to make some black, black olive, I would choose the select key, that little dotted line rectangle. I draw a box around it and then I choose, well maybe I'll drag this one on first, but then if you choose copy, and paste, every time you choose paste, it will give you a new black olive to place on your pizza. If you ever make a mistake, like let's say you choose something and you accidentally don't want that there. If you choose the curvy blue arrow from up here at the top, this is the undo key. You can click that as many times as you need to to undo things. If you meant to have something there and accidentally erase it, if you click the redo button, it puts it back. Okay? So once you've made your crust, your sauce, and you've put the toppings on that you'd like, now let's add some cheese. The spray paint can work good for cheese, and I usually make it a wide spray paint. I choose the yellow for a cheese color, and then you just kind of spray around a little bit of cheese on top of your pizza. Last, it's time to slice the pizza. I'm going to choose the straight line tool, the black color, and I think this time I'll have a little bit of a thinner line. And then you just drag across your pizza from one side to the next. And you may slice your pizza into as many 
places as you would like. Okay? To save your work, you choose the blue button up here at the top. Blue button up at the top. And then you pick Save As. And then you need to look in the top corner and pick Computer. And then you have to look for your H drive. It would look kind of like this, except there would be an H there. And then you would type Pizza. And last, you would click the Save button. And that's how you make a pizza using paint.